Good evening on this Monday night. We are going to begin with a disaster unfolding in Guatemala where the volcano of fire has erupted. It is a humanitarian crisis in the making in Central America. Rescuers are trying to pull people to safety, but more than 62 have been killed, and that toll is expected to go much higher. More than 46 are hurt, more than 3,200 evacuated. It is happening not far from Guatemala's capital, and Don Daler has details. Orange superheated gas and rocks shot into the sky and poured down the mountain, reportedly wiping out entire villages. The eruption sent ash as far as 40 miles away. In the first few hours, the ash and mud remained so hot, rescuers had a difficult time reaching victims, some of whom could be heard crying out for help. The rapidly moving mixture of gases and volcanic matter, known as pyroclastic flows, reached 1,300 degrees in some places. By the time first responders reached victims, it was often too late. Dozens were either burned to death or asphyxiated by the deadly fumes, including these children. A rapidly rising mud flow destroyed a highway bridge and a once pristine nearby golf course was covered in dark gray ash and mud. Volcano is behind me. Manuel Cobar is there. Can you describe what you saw? I can dead people. Um, I can see very people hurt. Um, and the situation is very sad. Eugenia Garcia Uspatan lost all but two of her family members. I only managed to find two children last night, she says, but my two female daughters, my grandson and my son are missing, together with my entire family. Sunday's 16-hour long eruption was the most violent in more than a century. More than 3,000 people have been evacuated from the area. Officials expect the death toll to rise as rescuers reach more villages. Jeff, pyroclastic flows from Mount Vesuvius in Italy are what buried the city of Pompeii, killing an estimated 16,000 people in the year 79. Yeah, it appears there might be some more terrible news to come here. Don, yeah. thanks.